Hello all to my subscribers. So I have a great news for all of the NEET UG aspirants. An academy brings you the mega combat. 45 minutes live test curated by the top NEET UG educators with just four months remaining for NEET. So UG 2022 and you can grab this golden opportunity to test your preparation for NEET UG 2022. And also you can win worth of five crores at the same time. And practice the questions that are curated by top educators and view video solution to these questions after the test. So take the test that you can check the preparation for upcoming NEET UG. So entrance exam, if you are able to crack most of them, then definitely you are on the right track for your application. So it is the must attended test for all the students who are planning to appear for entrance of this year. Okay, so let's crack it. So now uh, you can give, take a subscription for an academy as well. So three months, six months, it has been available. And the code is GSS03. So with this code, you will be getting an extra discount. And you can crack Meet UG with an academy. Valid on press plus subscriptions only. So it is valid till 9th March 2022. So hurry up. And so you will be getting 30% off as well from 1st March to 9th March. Mock test series. You can access to question bank. In-depth analysis with video solutions. And you can subscribe now with the referral code or invitation code. That is GSS03. So don't forget. And there are few batches that is going in an academy, which is going to start from March 9. And here is the neat UG Mega Combat, which is going to be happen on 13 March 2022, Sunday, 11 a.m. So four months to meet UG 2022, start your preparation. So focus on meet UG 2022 exam. Questions and video solutions are created by top educators. Questions will be from physics, chemistry, and biology. You can get your real-time All India rank. And 500 lucky participants to win exciting rewards and gift vouchers. Combat available in English and Hindi. So rewards will be including gadgets, vouchers, and scholarships worth 5 votes. So you can get a gift card as well. So hurry up. And here we have the syllabus for physics, chemistry, and biology. You can take a screenshot or if the same syllabus will be up. Uh, you can see, have a look in the website also. Okay, so. Yes, today we are going to see a small topic regarding body fluids and circulation. Okay. So regarding the body fluids and circulation, now the topic is So what is heart rate? Heart rate is equal to number of beats per minute. So it is, so on a normal heartbeat, we use it to tell an average of 72 beats per minute. Okay, and now we'll see the stroke volume. So what is stroke volume is? Stroke volume is nothing but the amount of blood pumped by the heart in a single beat. The amount of blood pumped by the heart in a single beat. That we call it as stroke volume. It is 70 ml. And what is cardiac output? So cardiac output is none other than amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart for one minute. That we call it as cardiac output. The cardiac output equal to heart rate into stroke volume. Okay, so heart rate is 72 beats per minute approximately and stroke volume is 70 ml. Okay, so if you could calculate this, you will be getting 5040 ml. So approximately the cardiac output, the amount of blood pumped by the heart per minute, it will be approximately 5 liters. Okay, so this. 
and next coming to the other thing regarding blood pressure. So what is the blood pressure? So the normal blood pressure will be 120 by 80 mm of HG. And remind one thing, without this units in science, there is no value for numbers. Always you have to denote the number with the values. Not only in biology, physics, chemistry as well. And next it is, so what is hypertension? Hypertension is nearly above 140 by 90 mm of HG. Then only we call it as hypertension. Usually in many of the cases, many of them will be scared if the heartbeat is above 120. So it, it, it is not the thing. If it is above 140 by 90, then only the person will be having hypertension. Okay. And the next thing is, so what is the uh, instrument what we use for to denote, to see the blood pressure is sphygmomanometer. Sphygmomanometer. Okay. Okay. Next C regarding ECG. Okay, so you would have seen in movies you will be having like this. So continuously you will be having the same thing. Okay, so like this you will be seeing the ECG. So what is ECG? So you will be having three types of names for ECG. Electrocardiogram. Next. Electrocardiogram. And next. Electrocardiography. So, graph is the record. Graph is the mission, what we use. And graphy is the procedure with what we take, with how we take the electrocardiogram, with using the instrument electrocardiogram. Graph is instrument. Gram is the record. And graphy is procedure. Okay. And we have three waves here. So how to read this waves is B, QRS and T. Okay. So P, QRS and T. This P wave is atrial systole. P is atrial systole. Systole is the pressure that is maximum amount of pressure that is recorded in the atrium here. QRS complex is ventricular system. And T, coming to T, T is ventricular diastole. So usually in the doctor will be seeing this ECG record. So if there is any decrease in the QRS complex particularly, then that means the ventricles are becoming weak. It may be myocardial infarction, myocarditis, it may be any of the case, which causes weakening of this myocardium. That too particularly ventricles. Ventricles are actually more uh, and strong in size when compared to atrium. And P is atrial system. So you would have missed the atrial diastole. The atrial diastole will be happened during the ventricular systole itself. Okay, so these things. And so let me tell you one short description regarding double circulation. So we'll go with the heart. Here we have the heart. 
So as we know that uh, ventricles are bigger and here we have the lungs. And next, we have the body parts. Or take it as tissues. Now what is double circulation is, the blood will be going from, so whatever the blood that will be moving from, issues to heart. Now it is, it will be going from right atrium to right ventricle. So this side of the heart will be carrying deoxygenated blood. From here, the blood will move to the lungs for oxygenation purpose. Okay, so from here till here, so that is deoxygenated blood. I am underlining it blue to denote it as deoxygenated blood. So after finishing of oxygenation, now the blood will go to the heart to left atrium. And from the left atrium, it will go to left ventricle. From here, again it goes to the body parts. So here we two times the blood will come to the heart. So the blood which is moving from the body parts to heart and heart to body parts, we call it as systemic circulation. And the blood from lungs to heart and heart to lungs, we call it as pulmonary circulation. So both together, we call it as double circulation. Okay. So like this, we have to understand what is double circulation. So, and we have many more things to discuss regarding body fluids and circulation with many more easy mnemonics. So please put your opinion in the comment. And this is my referral code. And don't forget the mega compact. If you are writing the NEET UG 2022, then you can apply for this mega compact, which is going to be happen on 13th March, 11 a.m. Okay. So I hope uh, you got some information from this video. So thank you very much.